Hello and welcome again to part two of uh, Cedar Cove. I think that's using that term more than anything else, so I think I'd better name it Cedar Cove. Today is part two, and part two is balance. But before we get into balance, make any shape changes you need now. And um, then it's time to start using the big brush again and balancing our mixtures, my value colors, is it is the green too dark, too, too light, and how that corresponds with the surrounding colors. All right. I also introduced a new cedar mixture on uh, mixing the cedar green uh, using uh, raw sienna. What else can I say? Keep painting. Get outside and paint. Paint with your friends. Get critiques. And don't be intimidated by a white canvas. All right. Let's get started with this painting. All right. Bye. Hello and welcome to part two of uh, Cedar Cove or whatever I named this thing. But um, getting in to part two means we're getting into balance. And with balance, I mean... Uh, we're starting to say, is this too dark? Is this too light? Does this value color correspond with the surrounding colors? And that's what I'm going to work on today. Please, no small brushes yet. We're not ready. So what we're going to do is, um, if you have any shape problems, um, like I have, I have a shape problem, and I'll get into that in a second. Let's get that done first, and then we'll get into balance. So uh, with that, uh, I will get started. I think these two angles are too much the same here and here on top of the mountain. And uh, I do see in the reference that one is a little different. This one is a little different. And, uh, but I just don't want two of the same angles coming in like a V. So I'm going to make that change right away. And then we can get into moving on with this painting. All right, I'm going to step back, say my Hail Marys, and make sure, hope, 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 Everything turns out just real nicely on part two. All right, so uh, let's get some um, ceruleum and some white. And make some sky color. And change that mountain. Wipe away some of the excess paint from yesterday. It's pretty dry because I used a lot of solvent uh, in, um, in the mixture. And uh, I'm using uh, Gamsol. That's my solvent. Gamsol's good stuff. All right, time to make a change. Gonna get a little bit of turp solvent on my brush. Load her up. And make a change. Change my angle. And just about ready to go here. And I might as well use up some of this stuff in my sky because it's pretty. And why waste it, the product? That is done. Let me clean my brush and let's get into to balance. All right. I don't know if there's much left of this ceruleum, but just in case, I'll put it right there. Might be able to use it for something. And let's move on down into the painting. I've been experimenting with cedar colors, these cedars. And um, 
So what I'm experimenting with this morning, and I want to encourage you to give it a try, is uh, to uh, pull out your raw sienna. I'm using raw sienna from Gamblin. Again, I want to make a cedar color. I just didn't like the yellow ochre so much. So I've pulled out my raw sienna, sienna and I'm adding blue, ultra. And it's going more toward a subtle kind of brownish green. And I'm going to add more. And now I'm going to add some, just a touch of a Viridian. I, I'm sorry, yeah, Viridian. Yes, Viridian. And I'm mixing it thoroughly. Oh, that is beautiful. Now that is going to be a great dark cedar color. Now I'm going to add a little bit more Viridian because I want to mix a light color for the cedars that are kind of up and about there. In the, in the sunlight. So now I'm going to add Naples. Naples yellow. And I'm going to, on one side, even make it lighter. All right, so we have one darker, one lighter. Okay, let's go with the bigger brush again. I'm going to get the sky color out of this because I just used it. And I'm going to go with some of this darker color here and try it out. It's nice, but let's go to the lighter color. Just not there yet. All right, let's, let's get a little bit more maples in here and some white, titanium. That's what it needed, titanium white. Because we need to show cedar in light. Let me get some of this darker stuff out of my brush. Squeeze it out. New paper towel, and here we go. Voila! Now that is showing light. Going in for just big swaths of this stuff. And let's go to the other side now. And spread, spread out the wealth, as they say. And I think we're making... All right. Again, you can see I'm just really trying to get that value right. And that's why I went with that little bit more titanium white in there to get the lighter value. So I'm standing back and yeah, it checks out in the back too. Let me make a little bit more of this. And all right. I see some of this also in front, and I'm putting it in various places to balance that out. Yes, I'm very rough on my brushes, because I'm not using the end of it so much. I use the sides and all portions of my brush. I think this is a nice leg right up in here. And I have just a little bit of silver now. Um, if you have any cold gray by uh, uh, Remington or Richardson, or if you have some, I think what I'm using right now is Portland Gray Medium by Gamblin. They didn't have my good old standby at Jerry's Artorama, which is my cold gray. Oh. 
All right. Now, one thing now that I see, I think that was a great addition, is that I need some darks, darker mixtures of the cedar in various places. And I'm going to mix that now a little bit more smooth. I, uh, I add a little bit of gamsol to loosen up and get some mileage out of a out of a color. And I think I'm going to get some of this stuff up in here too. And I'm going to make some more of the darker stuff. So this is the raw sienna, ultra blue, a little bit of iridium. A little bit more viridian. And I'm going to be working with this now. See, it's, some of this shrubbery is a little bit darker at the base of the bush. And that's what I'm doing now. I go a little bit bluer now, and I'm adding some now, some transparent oxide brown. I'm going to add a little raw sienna now, and I want to go in here and work on the darks in Mr. Primary Cedar. That's what I'll call him, Primary Mr. Cedar. darks. I see some, some darks in here too. So why not get to them? That's what I say. So if you're saying, okay, so am I learning impressionistic painting? Well, I think the way I approach it, and I think the masters did too, was to really concentrate on getting these, I mean, big bold strokes to get these um, initial uh, value colors in. And I think that's how, how you really start coming to figuring these, these paintings out, or this style of, of painting out. All right, more darks, and then I'm going to switch over to shape changes here. I want to see if I, I need shape changes in this avenue of light that's kind of coming down here, and I think there's a, there's a good dark right here, and here, and I think these come over a little bit more in this area. I've got some white areas coming through here, so I'm covering them up. Sometimes what you see me do is just come up to a dark and flare it out a little bit with the side of my brush. And that's because it, when I went down with it, I just kind of went plop, and it has too hard of an edge. So uh, this sometimes just softens them up a little bit. All right, I think that is good for now. All right, let's move on to some worms. And I am cleaning up my palette thoroughly because I'm going from a 
cool to a warm mixture. And I better clean my brush pretty good if I continue to use this bigger brush or change over to another one. But I think I'll try to clean this one as best I can. All right. I am going to get some Hansa Yellow Deep and Naples titanium. And you can see I have a pretty light mixture here. And I see it pretty light right in this in some areas here. I think I'm a little too too warm in some of these areas. So I'm going to lighten it up a little. Add a little bit more titanium to it. More titanium white. There we go. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go up to Go up a little bit higher here, add a little yellow ochre to the mixture, to the darker side of this mixture, and put some in here. It's not enough. I'm going to add some raw sienna and some titanium white. And there we go. And I'm going to start rubbing some of this up in some other upper areas. And then the darker stuff needs to be in here somewhere. I do see a dark right in here. I had a little bit of dark left over from the previous mixture. And I'm putting that in so I have to clean my brush again to get back to warm. And let's spread out the wealth of this lighter stuff. And I'm lightening up this background color. Let me get back and see how that value looks. So far, it's so good. And I see lightning or lighter stuff up in here also. And I see light in here. So I'm going a little bit to the darker mixture. It's got a little bit more warm into it instead of that cool white right up in here. Okay. Now, when you get to this point, you say, okay, what next? So I look at my timer. Okay, 12 minutes left. And let's keep using this pile up just a little bit and add some warms, maybe a little bit of alizarin in here, yellow ochre, no, 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 get some raw sienna with the uh, alizarin, that is a nice color, and we will work in that, in this area here, oh nice, and I'll put some of that up in here, because I see it that there in the reference. Okay, so that's a lizard, raw sienna, and some Hansa, yellow, deep. Oop, don't need that there. Boy, I was just going so well, and then I popped something wrong in there. Pay attention. I'm saying that to myself, not to you all. see some light coming in here, but there's just a lot of light going back up into this area 
right in here. So I'm kind of just trying to train my eye to see where it is and then translating that down to my my brush, my hand, my right hand, and my brush. Too strong. And I need some lighter stuff here. I'm adding some kind of this warmer color to this little island of grass here. And again, squinting down, seeing if I can see the value and the color. And it's really kind of a patchwork right now <laughs> of value colors. And I, I, I really like what's going on so far. So far, so good. Now I need some bits of light in the dark in here. You can see it. I'm going to go to the brown side in a few places. And I need some light right there. Strong lights right in here. Now, to eliminate some of these really strong edges, just come back with your, you've got this big wide inch and a half inch brush and uh, soft and just soften some of these strong edges something that just looks a little too edgy just knock it off with this guy I think I need some lighter stuff down in here let me get that done now. It's a little bit on the brown side, so I'm just going to add some titanium to the mixture I made for playing around with these warmer colors. And I'm going to load it up and take it on down. right in this area. Let me see if I screwed that up. I have a little bit of gray left in there. I'm going to have to get some warm back in there. All right, yellow ochre. Raw sienna. Red, titanium white, maples. Voila! There it is. I found the magic color. Squeeze this stuff out of the brush, load it up, and there. You get some of that warmer color back. Some really light stuff right in here. And I just plop my big old brush right in the titanium white to get it. All right. Trouble with using these big brushes, they take a lot to clean as compared to the little guys. So I have to spend some time really squeezing out that stuff. Because it, as you can see, I didn't clean it so well the, yesterday and it still had some contamination in from yesterday. All right, my time is six minutes. So let's get up into here. Okay, we've got some of this warm color. Let's see if we put it all together, what we've got. I'm going to add some, from this color we have down here, I'm going to add some Royal K2 
King's Blue, Royal Blue. Let me see what brand this is that I'm using. This is um, King's Blue or Blue Royal by Remington 517. Let's see if that does something here. What I'm trying to emulate is some of this cool shadow color that you see in these walls, these vertical walls in Canyonlands, where this particular image is from. And if you don't have Royal, I think I would go with a Cerulean. All right, let's load up. And get a little bit of Gamsol in the mixture. Oh, I think this has some promise to it. And let's lay that down. And I didn't make enough as I normally screw up and not do, but this will help as a base. And a little bit more Gamsol. And that will be good for that. Now let's go over to the opposite side. Let me put this up in a different position. And let's go over to the wall that's getting some light. And let's get some titanium. And some Hansa yellow light. and some yellow ochre and a touch of cat orange. I added just some more white. Oh, that is pretty. Again, in this stage, you can see I'm, I'm putting my application of my paint on a little thicker, but not too thick. Now, how do I describe that even better? Well, yesterday it was really, really thin. We had a lot of Gamsol in it. Today, we have a little bit more pigment in it than Gamsol than we did yesterday. So, let's uh, go over to the light side and see what we can do. Oh, my God, yes. Yes! Yes, it's beautiful. And let's add it now, a little bit of this color we had previously. From over here, just a little bit. Because you can see above it is a, another layer, and it has some of that uh, cool... I don't know what it is, but kind of a different layer there. And then on top, we kind of go back to that other mixture. Start with Hansa yellow medium, the ochre, touch of orange, and titanium white. And we will work with that on top. Let me get back and look. I think this actually comes in this way just a little bit. And let's use some of this hill stuff or the stuff we have here. 
down below if we've got some left over. Give it some life. And again, that's a little too strong in a few places, so I'm running those edges a little, softening down those edges. Woo! Okay. Working with these great big cliffs here is going to be a lot of fun in here. But I'm running out of my time. My dinger's going to ding here in just about 30 seconds. And that's going to bring us to the end of part two. So, today was uh, any changes you need to make in shape, do it. And then we started working on um, balance and balance color. So, let's see you next in part three. This is going to be more than a three-part, three, uh, a three-series because this is a big painting, 18 by 24. All right, thanks for coming by.